Welcome back to episode 103. So in last week's video, you saw me battling with that rear suspension, taking it apart, getting that strut out, and finally looking at it and working out why it's making that noise. Well, actually, okay, I don't know why it's making that noise, but I do know is the damper's broken. And that my, I suspect, my suspicion is that that's that damper sort of jijijing up and down that's making that weird uh, clunking noise. Damper is out, sitting on my side, board, uh, side over there now. Uh, what I want to do in this video then is progress that further down because obviously I've got all the bits and bobs out now. Some of the bits and bobs out, I can't just put them back on the car. I need to replace them, I need to renew them, I need to tidy them up. So in this week's video, what I want to do is carry on doing that. I want to get the as much of the rear suspension off as I can, get it cleaned up, um, um, powder coat some of it, whatever makes sense, and get it back on the car. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing this week. Um, as ever, please go watch the previous videos, click that like button. The like button's really, uh, really important to me actually because it helps promote my videos on YouTube. So if you're sitting there bored, go back and click some of the likes on the old videos for me. Um, and uh, leave me comments. I do like the comments, as you know, I reply to everyone. So let's dive in there and see how I got on this week. All right, try and give you an update where I've got to. So this is the, uh, the damper <clears throat> that is completely shot. I mean, I can, I can pull it in out with my hands. It's really like, not one-handed. I can pull it out and it push it back. There's just nothing in it. So that one's dead. Uh, I've got all the bits laid out on the table. Some of the bits will be salvageable. This sort of rubber stops seem okay. This stuff all needs uh, sandblasting and powder coating. This uh, little sleeve is okay. There's a perished washer. There's like a plastic washer that goes that's completely disintegrated. I've ordered two new ones of these, um, which is the bump stop, I think. Uh, that's a jacking thing. Anyway, um, everything else seems right. The spring, grubby. Uh, I'll release the pressure on that in a little while. Uh, that'll go off to be powder coated. Then I've got the other shock out. I've not uh, obviously disassembled that yet. That's just a matter of compress the spring, undo it and see what we've got. I'm hoping there's nothing else gone wrong in that one. Interestingly, this one doesn't make the same clunking noise when I drop it on the floor like the other one did. So, and I could only hear it from this other side. So that's quite a good sign. Now, underneath the car, let's go down. If I can climb down onto the floor. Right, so what we've got then. Um, obviously the exhaust is still on, so I need to drop the exhaust off. I've changed all my uh, jacking points. It's now been, it's really bad light here isn't, here, isn't it? It's now been jacked up underneath on the actual proper jacking points. I don't know if you can see that under here. It's really dark, isn't it? It's like a horror story with my light. Uh, that's the jacking point there, it's sitting on a bit of wood that goes onto the car. Um, and what I'm doing is disassembling the, um, the sort of each, each side of the, um, I guess you call it a hub axle, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got the, obviously the, um, the link off, that's better. Um, the anti-roll bar, I'm just working out how to get out, which I need to drop the cross member and drop the transmission so I can get that out. Um, and then I'll slowly keep take, you know, continue taking bits off this side. Now on this side, I've got the half shaft undone. Really is bad lighting, isn't it? Um, and this bulb is on the blink, so it makes it harder. So the half shaft is undone there. Um, on the other end, I've got most of the, the bolts off, but one of them's got stuck, so I decided to uh, remove it from the transmission and I'll get it sort of on the floor and undo it properly. So that's all come along quite nicely. Again, the drop links are uh, undone and roll bar waiting to come off. So my plan is to take as much out as I can, including the cross member, which you can just see here, including that, get them all sandblasted, get them all cleaned up, and I'm gonna put bushes where I can, where necessary. Um, I don't think it will need, well, it's not gonna get new bushes all over, because there's a lot of bushes, but definitely um, a lot of them, all the roll, and roll bar and drop links have been replaced. Oh, this bulb is completely dead. Uh, and there's that bone, um, sort of, I suppose it's the upper control arm. I think his bushes need replacing, so we'll have a look at that as well. Um, but yeah, it's coming along. It's not, not going too bad at the moment. Um, I have hit a little bit of a blocker on the handbrake cable. So if I take you around the other side. Right, so it's all back under the car. Um, obviously I've got the uh, pivot pin came out. Now interestingly, this one I pulled out with my hands. 
uh, I undid it and then I managed to just by rotating it with the with a socket set I could just apply uh, pressure with my hands and it pulled out which is quite surprising um, everything's coming undone on this side there's no problem so far I'm trying to thread the um, anti roll bar over but I can't so I need to drop the transmission at some point um, I'm just looking at that now on the other side I've got the um, let's move you over I've got the half shaft undone at the gearbox that came off at the other end the one of the uh, bolts won't come out so I'm going to get it out away from the car and deal with it there I think it'd be a lot easier um, but it's all coming apart quite nicely obviously I've got a bent drop link here um, I've actually ordered new drop links because it's easier to get entire new drop link than it is to um, buy the bushes and install them so that would make it a little bit easier um, but yeah the plan is to take everything off that I can and get it all sandblasted and powder coated where appropriate uh, and then we'll put it all back together I'll get the half shafts done as well if I can new boots on there I can inspect them just check they're okay um, but yeah I'm feeling quite positive about it actually I'll probably renew the um, upper control arm bushes right up the top here I think you can see there and there's one just the other side of this exhaust um, I'll probably get those done because I think they're a bit wobbly and we need to have a look at the bottom ones to see what to do with that and there's my two nice big exhaust pipes there which look really cool I think um, anyway let's get on with it Right, this side's a bit more problematic. Um, there's no problem with any of the bolts, that's all fine. The problem comes with the handbrake cable. Now this side actually probably will be okay because I can undo, I've undone it sort of in the middle of the car and it should pull back. The other side I need to work out whether I can get that undone or not um, to be able to get the hub away. In an ideal world I'd probably undo the, um, the, the hub nut, axle nut I suppose you call it. Um, and just sort of disassemble it and undo the handbrake here but I've got no hope of getting that undone it's 320 foot pounds with it sort of loose up in the air you know I'm, I'm just never gonna be able to do that um, so that could be a problem let me know if you know how to undo the other side's uh, handbrake cable so I can get the whole sort of hub away from the uh, from the car right now I think we are pretty close to having the axle come out so on the axle sorry this whole hub um couple of last remaining nuts i believe let's just lift it yeah i think it's just this top um so let's quickly take that out okay right the uh the correct socket set was right under my nose as typical oh hello i thought we've had you come in and done before oh well i sorry I'm pretty sure I had all that loosened, but apparently not. Okay, let's, let's upscale. Let's go to the bigger one. Surprisingly tiring. Right, concave washer came off of there. Remember that, please. I'll probably put it back on, actually. All right, let's see if we can lift this out then. Nope. Oh, come on. Surely that comes off. No, it doesn't. Okay. So we'll undo it up at the, uh, the other end and do it the old fashioned way, I think. Let's lift this all out of the car. There. Here we have it, one, one, oh, <laughs> one hub assembly. Um, so I need to take this all apart basically and get this down to the sandblast and see what we can do with it. Uh, and get the other side off. Oh, that's a big lump. Now what I'm gonna do quickly before we forget is put these concave washers back on the correct uh, bolts so we don't forget. Typically, I think the battery ran out 
Um, so the whole assembly's come away from the car. Obviously with the half shaft in place, I can now focus on the, the bolt here that I can't get undone. Um, and I can get this upper control arm off. It's uh, putting up a little bit of a fight at the moment. But good to get off the car. We can clean all that up. I've got this lower control arm. Uh, that can now come away when I've undone the bolts. Uh, we can get that cleaned up as well, but looking pretty good. Right, this is going fairly smoothly on this side. Um, I'm just slowly but surely undoing the the half shaft bolts. Uh, I think Porsche actually call them screws, funny enough, but um, I'm just tapping this in like that. Make sure it's seated really well. And I've got a piece of metal to stop the uh, hub turning. And we just try and get on it here. Like that. There it is. Usually, I think I might I may have actually done all six now, but generally they come undone. There's been no trauma. Let's just check, I may have done this one already. Go. All right, so I think that's off now. Yep, it's away from the car. So we just take out the um, the nut up the top here, and we should be able to pull it away. Luckily, I did this one fully earlier. Let's try and keep all the bits together. There we go. That was actually really surprisingly easy. I thought I was going to have to fight it off a little bit. So I put the washer and the nut back on, just so we've got it all in one place. And I think that whole hub assembly can come away now. Right, if we can, if I can lift it out, that should just come. Ah, no. Of course, the thing that's stopping it now is the handbrake cable, which I still don't know how to resolve. Okay. So I need to get back underneath the car and see if we can disconnect that. So I'm a little bit stuck on that um, offside hub trying to take it away, that whole assembly. Because of this handbrake cable, um, I can't see how that disconnects from the hub or the knuckle, whatever you want to call that thing. Um, so I've come back inside the cockpit, the in compartment, whatever you want to call it, and I'm able to undo it from the handbrake end. Now, obviously, Nothing's ever easy. Mine is rusted to hell, so I can't undo the nut. So I've had to undo the whole handbrake assembly, pull it back, my gloves ripped, pull it back, and uh, now I've got it away from there, I can actually operate on it and either cut the nut off or get some sort of proper penetrating fluid in there and see if it'll come undone. So making some good headway now with this suspension. Uh, the next thing I want to look at is, is this big old juicy lower control arm. Um, I want to get these powder coated because they look like uh, well, they don't look good, let's not use the word that they look like. Um, and I think it's just two bolts holding them in. There's one here and one tucked up underneath the uh, underneath the car there. Um, so I'm going to have a go, get, a go at getting those undone. Uh, once those are out the way, then I can drop the, um, the whole uh, cross member supporting the gearbox. Before I do that, the exhaust needs to come out of the way. But the first thing is to get that uh, low control arm off. Right, so I finally managed to get this sort of half shaft off. Um, I'm glad I did because the grease up here, I mean, it's very, very solid. Uh, it needs all sort of repacking, I can see that. Uh, but it all moves quite smoothly, but it does definitely need sorting out. And uh, the actual hub assembly itself is a bit, obviously a bit tatty. Uh, it's still got the brake line on because I can't undo that axle nut. Um, and I need one new, uh, one of these sort of hex screws, what you can call them, Allen head screws, uh, where it started to slip and I've luckily managed to get out. So, I know what to do here. On the other side, I'm gonna do the same, get the half shaft off. Um, in interestingly, the boots are absolutely fine. I should probably replace them, but uh, I obviously need new gaskets up the top here. Uh, but that's a piece of work, so that's really good. Please get that out. Um, I'm going to do some on the other side and then see where we are. 
Right, so on the second shock, just going to take that apart now. Um, there's lots of little bits inside here, as uh, you know, I've got them all in piles over here. What I'm going to do is strip them off quite carefully this time, and I've got a rod just off camera. Uh, I'm going to thread them on so we've got them all stored, uh, which might prove useful for other people, but obviously it's going to be very useful for me. Uh, so let's just strip this down now. There's a gap now around the spring and the mount, so I know that that's, uh, the spring is now not being compressed in by the shock. Right, so we put a, just one way around, sorry, like that. The spanner just hold the middle piece still, which is sort of uh, flat it, sided, so you can put the spanner on it. So we ran this quite a few times, uh, trying to get the lower control arms out, trying to get the upper control arms out, trying to do all the bits and bobs, the handbrake cables causing me hassles. I think what I'm reaching the conclusion is that I don't actually need to get it out. This was a bit of a, a vanity project that I wanted to get it all out, get it all sandblasted and cleaned up really nice. I don't need to at this point. So what I'm gonna do is hold fire on that. I'm going to get the, um, I've got the shocks all apart, we know they need replacing. I've got the replacement dampers there. I'm going to send the springs away and all the uh, the various washes and mounts, get those all cleaned up nice, sandblasted. Um, springs will get powder coated as well. Then the um, I've got the uh, half shafts off, just one next to me here. I'll get those repacked with grease, get new boots on those, so they, they'll be good. Um, I will clean up the hub, so I'm not going to get them sandblasted because I don't want to get sand inside all the bearings and everything anyway. I'm going to look at the upper control arm bush. I've got one of the uh, hubs off right next to me here, so I'm going to look at the bushes there and just see if those need replacing. Um, the thing I want to get off is the anti-roll bar, the sway bar, because that is all rusty and I've got new uh, bushes for it. I've managed to get off the, um, the bush sort of clamp, whatever you want to call it, on one side so that can thread back over the gearbox, but it doesn't fit. So what I need to do is lower the gearbox and the cross member, bring it down probably an inch or so, which I believe is fine to do, without pulling it all the way out, thread the sway bar out and then put it all back up. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, wish me luck. Alright, underneath the car, uh, which seems to be my favourite place at the moment, the cross member seems to be held on by those two bolts up the top there. And then there's one more uh, sort of dead center there. And the same the other side. It looks like there are just those six. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any others. Next to this one here, you've got that one that's missing, which is the, um, the bolt to the transmission mount. But I think that's it. So what I plan to do then is undo this middle one here, that boy, get that undone. Um, get a support underneath the middle of the cross member and then take out these two either side uh, up the top there. Okay, by slackening the the bolts here and here, you know, the six we talked about earlier, I've managed to sort of manipulate the, the sway bar right back there, so it's up against the gearbox. So I'm now hoping on the other side I can kind of maneuver it out. I don't know how it's going to work, but we're just going to try now. Um, I'm hoping that will just sort of I don't know, it needs to turn up because obviously the sway bar sort of points down. You can see the end of it there. It needs to sort of s rotate and, I don't know. Let's go around there and have a look. Okay, it's looking quite promising. Uh, this is where we're up to. Now, you can obviously see it's poking out. Um, what I need to do is hold this end and kind of somehow manipulate it out, but I can't do that one-handed. So the camera's gonna have to go down and uh, hopefully I'll better show you it sitting on the floor in a second. Right, I have been manipulating this anti-roll bar for a little while. Let's not get carried away, probably 20 minutes though. I've dropped the gearbox and that cross member probably about, I guess, five mil. It's really not very much at all. Dropped it down um, and manoeuvred it and I quickly grabbed the camera because I think I'm actually there. I think it's just, oh, I've got a hub in the way now. Oh. 
Right, I think it's just a matter of me going like that and she's out. That's fantastic. So that's going to get dropped over to the the power Dakota um, probably maybe tomorrow actually. Um, and you can get on with that. That's fantastic. So please get those out of the way. Um, now I need to decide what to do with this cross member, whether to go the full hog and take it out, which I'm probably shying away from at the moment. I don't mind doing the work. What I don't want to do is take it all out and then realize that I've, I've uh, busted some of the bushes and things where I don't think there's anything majorly wrong with it. So if they're wrong or they're, they're shot, I'll replace them. But at the moment, I think it's all okay. So probably what I'm going to do is... Um, Get some axle stands under there, get a trolley jack, get it all jacked up so it's secure and safe while he powder coats all this stuff. There's no point me tightening it all back up and putting it up under the car. And then we'll thread this bad boy back on with the new bushes and things and uh, get it all back together and run in again. Right, that's all I'm going to have time for this week. It's taken a lot longer than I thought. I spent ages battling with that handbrake cable uh, and then realised, actually, why am I doing this? Why am I going down a route that's going to leave me with problems in the future? Uh, I was at the point of snipping the handbrake cable and I, I went to bed and was, I was laying in bed thinking, why? I don't actually need to take the hub off. And I probably don't want that hub, hub sandblasted anyway because it's going to get sand inside the bearing and everything. So let's just stop that uh, and call it where I am. So I'm going to have the, oh, there's a box there of the springs and various uh, components that go on the, in the shock. Um, ready to be powder coated, the anti-roll bars off, that'll go get powder coated, clean up powder coated, I've got new bushes for that ready, the little brackets that hold the bushes on will get powder coated as well, um, and I probably, I probably will leave it there, I'm going to clean up all the other parts so that lower control arm, I, I undid it all, well, I undid some of it, I can't get it away from the cross member, so I can't drop the cross member because that control arm is attached still to the car. Um, what I'm going to do is clean all that up and I'm going to uh, paint it so it's secure and then at a later date if I find that those bushes are dead it's very easy to get to I just whip a wheel off I'm so used to putting the car up and down on uh, axle stands now I just whip a wheel off uh, take that, that apart same with that upper I don't know if it's called the upper control arm but that sort of bone shaped bit that goes from the hub across to the um, across to the cross member the bushes on that I think are probably a bit dubious but it's so easy to get to. I don't need to do it now. I'm going to just tidy it up and put it all back together. Um, the main problem I was trying to encounter was the, or trying to resolve, was that clunking noise. And I'm, you know, 99% sure it's one of these this damper, which I've got a replacement damper. So tidy up what I can, get it all back together, let's get it back on the road and prove that that's fixed the problem. Later that we'll deal with everything else. Uh, as ever though, um, so wrapping up, thank you for watching. Go watch those old videos, leave me some comments and I'll see you next time.